Hello. Small update of what I'm doing before uh, it's finished, sort of. Well, it's it's not finished. It will never be finished. But uh, yeah, uh, I added a terminal here. It's gonna be open back. I'm not gonna clean up this wiring. I'm not gonna use a sock because I don't have time for that. I decided to not use their own stands and the reason is the panels will be too far away uh, to be crossed properly where the crossover is now. Since I changed from foam that had a really nice low resonance which is good but gave me other problems. Uh, I remade the drivers and uh, yes and no I'm not content with them. I will not build something similar uh, ever again. The thing that worked best for me was the foam with spray glue and then attaching. That worked actually the best. So the test panel I did, the tiny test panel worked the best. This works okay but cannot be crossed as low as the foam ones. Foam ones had a resonance of 200 or something. This is like 340, 360 and, res and resonance is really ugly at that point, so you want to avoid that. So these screws will be screwed in my big guns. Very professional. You can only do this a few times. <laughs> um, it's a huge, huge mess. Uh, I was gonna use my other feet, not the chrome ones, and the reason is I've got plenty of space to either heighten the whole contraption or tilt it or whatever. Now these are too long but I'm not gonna cut them off right now. It's too much work and it doesn't bother me. Of course I made new feet that will hold both drivers. So I attached uh, those metal thingies with uh, this sideways nuts because weirdly enough these panels were just screwed with a wood screw and they fail over time. Um, oh, also I replaced two of the ribbon drivers because uh, I did the classic one. Uh, one of my tools ended up in the magnet structure so the ribbon was fucked and the other one was too close to the front baffle and resonated so I had to replace that one as well. So loads of work and uh, feet one, feet two, they are huge and hopefully it all lines up. Uh, they are mirrored and I have to explain uh, that it's not the look I'm going for such a huge panel because the base panel is rather small and then there comes a tweeter and combined it's a huge panel. People might expect huge base. Uh, but the panel is still small and if I make the panel from scratch it could be way much compacter than it is right now. Way way much compacter. So I will we'll redo something similar but I might go for a tweeter on the foil first because I think that's still an elegant solution if you take some um, yeah if you modify it uh, versus magnet panel a little bit. I have to screw this one down. Oh, all kinds of crap drop out. Flop de flop. Uh, gave them a little spray paint so the front looks better because I'm not gonna use a sock. So it doesn't have a white frame except for the connection points, but I'm not gonna spray that black. And now I'm turning it on its top which is a dumb idea. This you would not see because it's normally downwards but I did forget to paint it apparently. So it's a huge mess uh, and also I um, oiled the sides and now I can put one side thing on the tweeter and one on the base panel and then uh, I'll take them in four pieces and the feet separately and then I'll assemble it over there. So I have to keep in mind which tools I need because otherwise yeah I just have random drivers and frames. Uh, yeah so this is still 
a lot of work. These are huge, but they have a more rubbery down uh, bottom end, which is nice. And you could like raise the speaker several centimeters. Might look ridiculous, but <laughs> but you can. So uh, yeah, I have a um, few more hours. Oh, I also play with the EQ a little bit. These uh, panels are a huge bitch to measure in a room because they're so long and the response should be looking better the longer they are but uh, because that's the theory uh, somehow that doesn't work out for me uh, a smaller panel looks better although be it a small spot but at that small spot it does look better in frequency response so that's too bad so I had to use some EQ because there was something yeah I'm not sure yet about long ribbons or long planar tweeters. I made some tiny tweeters combined with mid ranges and then combined with bigger panels. I think that's still a nicer way to go. Uh, if you look at the measurements, I mean, something can still sound really nice, but it shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, um, yeah, a few hours left. I'm gonna leave this like <laughs> like this. <laughs> so finished crossover. They are huge. <laughs> Pretty huge. With huge feet. <laughs> so they don't fall over. <coughs> yeah. So I'm done playing with the crossover. Um yeah, I went for 24 dB, but wow, I've never had a speaker or a planar magnetic speaker that did not want to sound right. I also never used such a huge frame and that changes a lot to make it sort of correct as far as I can measure because uh, it's hard in a room like this, hardly impossible. So it's more like listening and hoping uh, it will sound okay tomorrow as well. If not, well, no big deal, but uh, yeah, see you around. I'm gonna put all my stuff together. I made a playlist, got a title account real quick. Not that it matters, but hell, I'll see you after or I'll see you at the uh, event. Bye bye.